Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines and I'm here to talk to you guys about photo culling. Now, the big advantage of digital photography is the fact that you can just click photos and instantly preview what you're doing really, really quick and that's a lot of fun. But one of the big advantages of digital photography is its inconvenience. Because you can look at these photos so quick and pop off as many as you like, you have a lot of photo selection to do when you start downloading into your computer. Well, in comes software, photo culling software. And we're here to talk to you about a software that is AI based and is really, really cool. I want to get into it and give you an in-depth review of what it's all about. It is called XIR 2024. That's E-X-C-I-R-E 2024. You guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned. Put in layman's terms, photo culling is getting the meat from a photo shoot. Culling involves assigning keywords to photos, well classifying folders by appropriate subject, time, and collaborator status, and developing a long term personal system to be able to find the right photo when you need it. Now, photo culling can be quite a frustrating process when you decide to pick a software to do it. And why is that? Well, Photo culling software is there to save you time when you want to search for your photos. But what happens is it takes a lot of time to be able to save time. Ideally, what you would do is every time you import a photo, you would add keywords to that photo. Let's say there's a dog running on the beach. You would want to make sure that the keywords associated to that photo would be dog, beach, sunset, and that can be a lot of work, so much work that it isn't long before you decide, hey, this is way too much work for what I need to do for my photo culling. Well, in pops AI, and that's what's great about AI. And what's great about Xire is that it actually scans, associates keywords to the images automatically on its own using artificial intelligence. And it does it in a way that's pretty darn robust. Let's check it out. XR analyzes your photos and assigns relevant keywords based on objects, scenes, colors, and even emotions. So let's talk about the pros. AI powered image recognition and keywording. This is a game changer. XR AI automates this process, saving you a significant amount of time and effort. It's the ability to recognize emotions, moods, adds a unique layer of searchability. It's crazy. It's crazy. Effortless search and browsing, finding specific photos becomes a breeze. No more wading through endless folders. Xire's intuitive search functions allows for quick retrieval based on keywords, colors, elements within the photo, and lots of other aspects of a photo. It has a user-friendly interface with efficient workflow. XR is designed with usability in mind. The interface is clean, intuitive, and easy to learn. With its streamlined workflow, you can cull through your photos quickly and efficiently. If you're a power user, XR kicks butt. XR caters to advanced photographers as well. Features like smart album creation and data export offer additional functionalities for those who require more control. Now, remember that this photo culling software is not a replacement for your creative eye. That's up to you and the way you decide to look at your photos, but it can streamline your photo choices in a way that's pretty darn amazing. And there are two features that freak me out in the software. The first one is triage through aesthetics. Like any other photo culling software, you can do a triage of your photos by file name, by date, by camera model, but what happens with XR is you can actually choose through aesthetics. So the software has learned what most people enjoy about photos and it tries to do a triage. When I first tested this, I said, okay, I'm gonna go through this. It's gonna pick 
stuff that makes sense that's pretty aesthetically pleasing but i was sure that if i went down the list i would find stuff later on the list that it did not find great aesthetically and i would but it has been the case a bit but not a lot and the second point that i find absolutely amazing is when you do a text search and i'm not talking about a text search where you look for photos that have a keyword that you just put in as text i'm talking about where you write in any sort of sentence about something and it pops up and gives you images so for example if you said to yourself okay let me just write the sentence the dog running on a beach it will look through your whole photo collection and find any photos of dogs walking on the beach now this text thing is not perfect yet it does a pretty good job though so you can find a lot of stuff really really quick so again finish the photo shoot first you do the triage with aesthetics the best photos then from that you say from the best photos you make a collection and in that collection you say i want only the smiles or you want only the eyes closed so you can take those and throw them away it's amazing how far it can go to you can say pickup truck and it'll show you images of everything you've shot where there was a pickup truck in the background in the foreground or wherever there might be a truck within the image so these are two features in xr that are really robust now i have gotten some results that are a bit weird but at the same time it's pretty good and they're negligible for now while xr photo 2024 offers significant advantages it's not without its limitations while my experience with the auto keywording function is pretty robust it's not infallible you still have to review some of the suggestions and make manual adjustments if necessary so you always got to be mindful of some of the keyword suggestions and you definitely have to check out what the results are after you make a photo scan now there is a learning curve for advanced features i have to admit at times I would have needed a more comprehensive user manual. While the core functionality is straightforward, mastering the advanced features might require some effort. New users might benefit from exploring tutorials or the user guide to unlock XR. And uh, right now in 2024, the XR website is definitely lacking for tutorials and a bit more of a comprehensive user manual. XR does not edit. XR has no quick edit features like Lightroom. For this reason, it might be best to compare XR Photo to a software like Adobe Bridge. For now, XR Photo 2024 is a photo culling only software. While it does this task impeccably, it does require an initial investment. Some people who do not see the importance of streamlined photo culling might find it expensive. No tethered shooting with XR. For now, there are no tethered shooting options with XR. One would need to purchase their Lightroom plugin feature from the same company called XR Search, which might make a bit more sense for them. Now, I also put the fact that this is a desktop only software in the cons because anyone who has a mobile workflow might not be able to use this software for right now. There is no mobile option. So if you're working in mobile, that is definitely a con. XR Photo isn't the only player in the photo culling game. Let's see how it stacks up against other popular options. Adobe Lightroom Classic, a powerful all-in-one management, editing, and organization solution. It also integrates seamlessly with the king of all photo editing software, Adobe Photoshop. Lightroom has keyword tagging and search functions, but lacks the advanced AI capabilities of XR. Capture One Pro, another professional grade option with excellent image processing and cataloging tools. Like Lightroom Classic, Capture One Pro offers keywording and search, but lacks the AI powered approach of XR. Capture One Pro also comes with a subscription based model. My experience with Capture One also is that you have to get ready for a very steep learning curve. 
Photo Mechanic is known for its blazing fast import and culling capabilities. It excels at quickly striking through large image batches, but offers limited keywording and organizational features compared to Exire. Photo Mechanic is a good choice for high volume photographers, prioritizing speed over in-depth organization. It has a one-time purchase fee. XNView MP is a free open source photo management software with many features, including basic keywording and search. It's a budget friendly option, but lacks the user friendliness and AI capabilities of Xire. As you can see, AI comes up in each of these. XNView MP is a good choice for hobbyists on a tight budget who are comfortable with a less intuitive interface. The lack of updates, support, and newer features is a symptom of this free software, however. Now, Aftershoot is probably the most direct competitor to XR Photo 2024. Aftershoot offers AI style photo culling. In Aftershoot, you can automate your culling or just have culling assisted by AI. Like XR, Aftershoot is a downloadable software for Windows and PC. From my experience, it is so far on par with XR at the photo culling process. Aftershoot has recently upped its feature list to include AI editing. So who is XR Photo 2024 for? Well, it's for enthusiasts overwhelmed by large collections. If your photo library has ballooned out of control, XR's AI powered culling can be a lifesaver. It helps you quickly identify keepers and discard unnecessary photos. Most importantly, it makes sense of the many photos you have. It's also for professionals and also genre specific photographers like landscape and event. XR recognizes specific elements and scenes. Landscape photographers can easily find photos with desired compositions or lighting. Event photographers can quickly locate locate specific moments or people using Xire's AI search. Well, price and availability on this software, it's like I said before, one of the cons of this software is you have to be someone who relies quite a bit on triage. And if you do, it's available as a Lightroom plugin or as a standalone software. So it can replace a software like Bridge, Adobe Bridge or something like that. It cannot replace Lightroom because of the fact that it doesn't edit. But if you want to be able to do triage quick, fast, and very effectively, it could be something that's very interesting for you. In terms of pricing, the pricing is pretty good, a tad high, but I might be able to help you out right there. I do have a link in the description where you can go pick up and get a 15% rebate on your purchase. Use my code and it'll help you to get that purchase at a cheap price. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing.